Good day everyone! For today's session, we will be learning on how to solve quadratic equation using factoring method. But before that, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for some updates. In order for us to solve a quadratic equation by factoring method, we are going to follow some steps. Okay, here are the steps in solving quadratic equations by factoring method. Step number one, transform the quadratic equation into standard form if necessary. For example, if we have x squared plus 9x is equal to negative 8, then uh, add both sides of the equation uh, by 8. So we come up with this. x squared plus 9x plus 9, 8. Then add to the other side. So we have negative 8 plus 8. So we have x squared plus 9x plus 8 is equal to 0. Alright, so in step number 2, factor the quadratic expression. From the given example, we have x squared plus 9x plus 8 is equal to 0. We can begin to look for two numbers that we have a product of 8 and a sum of 9. Right? So the reason we're doing that is all about factoring. So if you are struggling... Uh, with factoring, you should probably go back and check out a previous lessons to get the basic. Now, finding a pair of numbers that satisfy this equation will be easiest if we write out the different factors of 8 and look for the pair of them that can be add or subtract to 9. Doing that makes it looks like 1 and 8 are our winners. So we can therefore rewrite our equation as this. x plus 1 or quantity x plus 1 times the quantity x plus 8 is equal to 0. Step number 3. Apply the zero product property by setting each factor of quadratic expression equal to zero. Well, what we have now is a product that equals zero. This allows us to use what is called the zero product property, which says that any time a product equals zero, at least one of the things we are multiplying must be zero. What this allows us to do is split the equation up and say that either x plus 1 or x plus 8 is equal to zero. Now, uh, for step number four, Solve each resulting equation. Now that the x are separated, we can again use the inverse operation to solve for them. Okay, so we have x uh, plus 1 minus 1 is equal to 0 minus 1. So we have x is equal to 1. How about the other one? Uh, x plus 8 minus 8 is equal to 0 minus 8. So, x is equal to negative 8. For step number 5, check the values of the variable obtained by substituting h in the original equation. For x is equal to negative 1, so if our original equation is x squared plus 9x is equal to negative 8. 
Then replace a negative 1 to the variable x. So we have negative 1 squared plus 9 times negative 1 is equal to negative 8. Negative 1 squared is equal to 1. Then uh, 9 times negative 1, that is negative 9, is equal to negative 8. So 1 plus negative 9 is equal to negative 8 is equal to negative 8. So both sides are the same or equal. So how about if x is equal to negative 8? So x squared plus 9x is equal to negative 8. So replace uh, the variable x uh, to negative 8. So we have negative 8 squared plus 9 times negative 8. So that is 64 minus 72. That is negative 8 is equal to negative 8. So both sides are correct. Okay. So, what will be our final answer? The equation x squared plus 9x is equal to negative 8 has two solutions. x is equal to negative 1 and x is equal to negative 8. Alright, so to find the solution of 2m squared plus 8m is equal to 0 by factoring, so you have to follow the steps per it. So step number 1, as I said, transform the quadratic equation into standard form if necessary. So example number 2, we have 2m squared plus 8m is equal to 0. Then step number 2, factor the quadratic expression. So we have 2m plus 8m is equal to 0. So factor out 2m, then we have 2m times the quantity m plus 4 is equal to 0. For step number 3, apply the zero product properties or property by setting each factor of quadratic ex, uh, expression equal to 0. So 2m is equal to 0 and the other one is 2, uh, m plus 4 is equal to 0. Again. So for step number four, solve its resulting equation. 2m is equal to zero, so that is m is equal to zero. So how about the other one? Uh, apply the inverse operations. So we have m plus four minus four is equal to zero minus four. So m is equal to negative four. All right. So these are now the values for m. Okay, so for step number five, check the values of the variable obtained by substituting h in the original equation. For m is equal to 0, so 2m squared plus 8m is equal to 0. Replace 0 to the variable m, so we have 2 times uh, 0 squ squared plus 8 times 0, that is 0. Okay, so both sides are the same or equal. So how about for m is equal to negative 4, so 2m squared plus 8m is equal to 0. Then replace uh, the variable m by negative 4. So we have 2 times negative 4 squared plus 8 times negative 4 is equal to 0. So we have 32 minus 32 is equal to 0. So same thing. Uh, both sides of the equation is the same or equal. So, in other words, again, our final answer, the equation 2m squared plus 8m is equal to 0 has two solutions. m is equal to 0 and m is equal to negative 4. Alright, so another example. So, let us find the solution of x squared minus 36 is equal to 0 by factoring. So again, you have, uh, don't forget to follow the steps. So step number one, you're going to transform the quadratic equation into standard form if necessary. So in our uh, third example, x squared minus 36 is equal to zero. All right, so step number uh, two, factor the quadratic expression. Then we have this x squared minus 36 is equal to zero. So the fact this is a perfect squared binomial. So the sum and uh, difference of the two binomials. So that's why we have x plus 6 or quantity x plus 6 times the quantity x minus 6 is equal to 0.
Alright, so for step number three, apply the zero product uh, property by setting each factor of quadratic expression equal to zero. So x plus six times x minus six is equal to zero. So apply the inverse operations property. So we have this. Step number four, solve its resulting equation. So, x plus 6 is equal to 0. Then, the other one is x minus 6 is equal to 0. So, we have x is equal to negative 6. And the other one is x is equal to 6. Alright. So, now to check if our answer is correct. So, you have to check the values of the variable obtaining by substituting each in the original equation. For x is equal to negative 6. Then we have x squared minus 36 is equal to 0. Then negative 6 squared minus 36. That is 36 minus 36 is equal to 0. So both sides are the same or equal. Okay, for x is equal to 6, then we have 6 squared minus 36. 36 minus 36, that is also 0. So both sides of, of the equation are the same or equal. So our final answer is the equation x squared minus 36 is equal to 0 has two solutions. So x is equal to 6 and x is equal to 6.